Now this was a matchup we saw them. I think they're just gonna oh, player he, one and player he two. He saw, no, he saw Shine pick DK and said, wait, I don't wanna go PS2. <laughs> that, that is a K9's move for sure. You know what, that's fair, trying to get uh, the DKO away from Shine. Yeah. Because it only works on specific stages, but Smashville is also one of them that it works on. Kind of better on Smashville. I actually, I think it works on every stage. It just has a wider window on some than others. Well, no, you need the platform right, to okay. uh, do it. So, like, stages like FD, it doesn't work on do FD, it, on. it doesn't work on Talos. Talos, it can do it on, but it's incredibly difficult. Right, because... The and town is game. very situational, so those are generally the better stages. But I'm kind of surprised. At least, you know, I feel like it's still Sheikville. Yes. Of course, Sheik, one of the recipients of a really large amount of buffs, and especially with the lower landing lag on some of these needles, coupled with the very large target that DK is, that could be trouble for Sheena if he isn't able to get around that back. Yeah, now, this is a matchup I know that they played quite a few times in Smash 4 as well. Mm -hmm. um, not sure how much, or how recently sheena has been playing the DK since he, uh, you know, went back uh, to Taiwan for a little bit. Not sure if he's been using the character at all still, but, you know, he's still looking pretty solid with it. K9's able to cross up with the F-Smash there very crucially, and that rapid jab just too much. On Shine, Shine's going to start fishing for the grab at these percentages. K9 has to be at a range where DK is going to kill him. Now, dash attacks in. Yeah, and K9 knows he's in danger right now. It's like that uh, Simpson meme that I'm in danger. Uh, but he's playing around it quite well. Good tech from Shine. Yeah, K9's looking very Ralph Rickham oh! at the moment, especially in the face oh! of that F smash. Right, that's got to be painful for K9. The photo throw into the fair definitely not going to kill the likes of DK, even at 180. All right, aggressive. Uses the bouncing fish to actually jump over the charged punch and evening things out, but Shine has to have the mental advantage after that F smash. I am K9 playing this incredibly slow. Once Shine come into something so we can needle him and get something started. Early percent work as Shine goes in with the up steps to even it out. Well, turns well and he's doing such a good job of just carrying Shine across the stage. Knowing that Shine isn't going to be able to pick his spot on the stage and he's going to have to adapt on the fly. Yeah, but even if he's carrying him across stage, he's not getting the kills. <laughs> you know, Shine's survivability is incredible. It's paramount in this particular matchup. Dine, of course, Dine, Shine, excuse me, a very heavy character. Yeah, Donkey Kong, very difficult for uh, Sheik especially to kill, not having any sort of, you know, really strong kill setups. Um, and the edge guards are kind of risky for K9 in general. Got that trip on the F tilt to lead to this, and goes in and out, wants that. Almost got taken off the top by the up air. Oh, and that's just so, like, terrifying if you're K9 right there, just watching the DK land in front of you while he's out of range. You can't hit him. Those arms definitely be swinging in K9's face. Has to find some way to just find his opening. The up tilt from Chine. Right, forward throw into the bouncing fish will connect at 178% and kill Shine, forcing them both to last stop. That's legend. Again, three moves only going to do 10%, but with the amount of hits he's landing onto this big body, yeah. it's keeping him in the game. Yeah, you know, I like that K9's playing this one slow, getting his damage and then recognizing that Shine will likely press a button at certain points and knowing when they're coming. Right. Bouncing fish. Shino just delaying his use of the jump there and rolls right back. A throw back air actually. Another one to put him up to 40. So much damage. He's in the range. Oh yeah, no, K9 can't get grabbed. Actually he may be past it with this much rage. I think so. Gotta be. With that attack probably just out of the window. 
I like the use of the down bees from Shine. Knows that he can connect them into a forward smash. Once again, as he rolls in, Spot Touch gonna be caught up by the grab from Shine. Good air dodge, but the needle. K9 on ledge. That's so unfortunate. What was that? Shine risked it all there and forced to pay as K9 went for the up special right in his face. That is not what I was expecting, for being honest. And for someone who was playing as safe as Shine was that pretty much that entire game, except for the F Smash in Sock One, that was such a strange gambit to throw out. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And it was surprising, at least. But I think it was the kind of surprise that works sometimes. Yes. If you can mitigate what your opponent does, and if you condition them to avoid one option entirely, that's just one less spot they can go to avoid an admittedly risky, but definitely high reward option like that. I have to just, this game feels like Shine gets to play for like every other 30 seconds. Yes. Like he has to sit there, watch his character take 80%, and then it's his turn to do like 50 off of one grab. Another Tomahawk, this time gets the Bouncing Fish as well. Yeah, and nice. K9's still sitting at 0% while Shine's at 100. And even then, I can't say K9's going to get the first stock until he does it. Yeah, as you mentioned, Shine even yet to get on the board as much as damage goes. And that Bouncing Fish almost finding the kill. Oh, but that will be a nice, nice minute-long zero to death for K9. Extended for a while, but finally found his reward. And Sheik, a character that thrives off this patience. Shine is just getting pulverized. Finally able to find the grab and get something going, but only 31%. And K9's back into the driver's seat. Yeah, and K9's really starting to sell me on this Sheik right now. He's looking so incredibly strong on it. Kind of just looks like he's not scared of Shine at all anymore. Kainat's just exerting his will onto Shine. Whatever he's looking for, it seems to connect. Alright, the back of our shield going to get some damage, but once again, Kainat on his first stock at 54%. Shine just not getting to play how he wants. Air dodge is right back in. Again, another air, another spot dodge this time. Waits it out. Oh, that. Oh, he mashed out. I am the trade, the bouncing fish in the back air. Shine not in a good position at all. Yeah, game one was relatively close, but this is looking like a blowout at the moment. Yeah, again, K9 is just playing so much more confidently, it feels. Dodge back to the ledge. And dash attack finally putting K9s at 98. Adam, the tilt to pop him up. Alright, and... Oh! Oh! K9. Not even needing the platform above him to go for that. Just got the drag down three times in a row. DK such a large body. And that's dead. Shine's dead, yeah. That's gonna be a three talk for K9 on game two. Wow. 